Hello, today I thought I'd talk to you about something a little bit different. I thought I would talk to you about writing. Writing as someone who is completely new to it, however. For a few months I was sort of piggybacking onto conversations that friends of mine had about writing for fun, self-expression, to be creative, to sort your thoughts, to create something new. And I have written quite a bit academically in the past, but my dabblings into fiction writing were like way past somewhere in my teens and I felt more and more tempted to dip my toe into it. So I thought I'd give you my seven tried and tested tips as a newbie, self-proclaimed newbie that I tried throughout the month of April and that worked for me. My first tip would be to write every single day. This one worked for me especially, one, because I didn't want to break my streak and I got a bit stubborn and wrote on days on which I usually wouldn't have had the energy, but also I do work Monday to Friday and having the goal to write every single day really helped me to figure out during what times I was able to carve out some time. I found that I was not able to write in the mornings, even though I would have time, but I just couldn't get into the mindset stuff's going on, dogs are running around, my partner's getting ready for work, so no writing happened there. But surprisingly, I did actually still have the energy on most days to write sort of between 10 and 11 p.m., sometimes immediately after work, around sort of five-ish, but sometimes actually quite late, which up until setting myself the challenge to read every single day, I would have totally have forgotten about not expecting that I would be awake enough to actually still be productive. Tip two basically feeds into this one because I found that tracking my writing every single day really helped me to keep motivated. I also decided to set myself a, a challenge. Um, I set myself a certain sort of word, not limit, but minimum that I was supposed to write every single day. I settled on 400 words which might not sound like much, but I did like how 400 words every single day in April would add up to roughly 12,000 words in the end. Setting a goal that was attainable for me, realistic, really spurred me on because then there would be a few days where I would be too tired or didn't really feel like writing, and then I would think, well, how long is 400 words really gonna take me, even if I'm in a rut? half an hour max so I might as well just do it. I have through talking to friends also found that some find it more motivating to set themselves a really high goal because they will always stay slightly below what they set themselves so the higher they set it the more they still push to try and reach that goal so maybe play around with it a little bit and find what works best for you. Tip three is to tell people that you are writing, to share your plans, to tell them that you're working on the next greatest novel. Yes, this might put unnecessary pressure on yourself. I thrive on pressure, I like it. But I also found that it led to really interesting conversations. I talked to people about it that really didn't expect that to be something I was interested in. I also, on the other hand, talked to people who know me really well and were like, yeah, that makes perfect sense, you go, um, which was also really fun. And it was just a really like new topic to talk about. Also, it's fascinating to, I don't know, talk to a parent, an aunt, um, a colleague, someone that you usually wouldn't delve into sort of maybe more personal topics and then finding out what their dream novel is that they would write if they were to sit down and write. I don't know, I find it really interesting. Also you find that more people than you might have guessed have dabbled in writing themselves and I think it's a really nice thing to just sort of discuss. I am currently sitting in my kitchen. Tip four would be to write in different spots, different places, different spaces. Now, unfortunately, currently, I can't go to one of the thousands of bars, cafes, hangout spots in my city at the moment, but I did find that switching around where I sit in my flat really helps. I don't have loads of space, um, but I would switch between the kitchen, I would write in bed, which 
before trying this experiment I would have never thought I am very very strict on bed is only there for like sleeping well definitely not writing but it worked for me and I also really enjoyed being uh, sat in the living room and was surprised that I could actually focus on writing if I was in the right mood with relatively a lot going on in the background so at some point my boyfriend was playing the PlayStation which sort of was a fun backdrop every now and then a sort of dog snout would nudge me a little I don't know it worked and I was even able if the weather was really nice to sit on the balcony for a little bit we've had a really rainy April that didn't work very often but I think as the weather warms up that'll be a really nice alternative as well step five if you are so new to this as I am would be to play around a little bit with different writing exercises and prompts now I didn't want to get totally bogged down on this one because I did know that I could get too worried about doing something right and having to practice and having to do some workshop in creative writing which I think all of those things are great to do but I don't think you have to have achieved some kind of expertise before you allow yourself to just start writing so every now and then mixing it up by trying some prompt can be really fun. So um, I can remember a day last month where um, me and my friends were like a little bit sort of slumpy almost. And then we set ourselves the, the, the prompt to include the word or the topic of a stray cat into what ever we were currently writing on and that actually worked out really quite nicely I ended up writing about a situation sort of out of my life uh, which is totally fine but it just sort of you know got the juices going a little bit if you're not really feeling like it there are loads of writing exercises that you can do just google away um, I'm currently also doing a sort of a sort of cooperative writing exercise where sort of friends and I sort of take turns writing sentences maybe that's something you would really enjoy doing um, I tried playing around with um, the difference of writing sort of by hand and typing I find that I really like typing writing by hand works differently feels a bit more like a diary entry which can also be super worthwhile there are so many resources I am by no means an expert not at all that's the whole point but I would say don't stress yourself too much that you have to write a book from page 1 to 362 and you can't stray to the left and right at all if you're not feeling it maybe pick up a pen instead of your notebook and try your hand on a little bit of free writing tip six kind of also latches onto the idea to not get too bogged down in this case on your research however I started to write something that I'm gonna classify as nonfiction although I'm not really sure where I'm going with it yet so I could have given the fact that I've written academically and I've studied I've written essays I could have gotten really up in my head about having to research the entire topic that I'm writing about reading articles news clippings going back into a more historical approach to it but I decided to scratch all that I can always look things up afterwards and now I just want it to be about writing if I set myself the goal to write 400 words every day and also had to do loads of research then I would not be able to find the time to do that currently so instead I really just told myself anything you write is totally fine don't worry about it being correct you can always change things you can look things up you can scratch things you can delete things when you got some kind of number or estimate incredibly wrong but now just focus on getting words on the page and my final tip tip seven is to write with friends now this tip is also sort of the origin story I guess to me writing because talking to friends who also write really is what got me excited but continuing to talk to them throughout the month of April is what held me accountable 
and really nurtured this joy to want to progress, to share experiences. I have one friend who is an amazing cheerleader <laughs> and we all sort of got together in a group, she set it all up, we had a, a Discord server where we would open up different chat rooms, we would write together silently, just feeling like you are together, really helped in this time of also being quite isolated and writing being quite a solitary act. So writing together with friends is such a cool experience. You can tell them when you're stressing out about something, you can tell you if you're worried about something, you can ask them about a plot hole, you can ask them really nicely whether they'll read over something and you can also just hold hands a little bit and cheer each other on if you're not really feeling it. In the end, if I don't finish writing anything ever, the whole experience of writing together with friends will have made it worth it, which is so cheesy to say, but what a lovely new thing to try together with a friend or with a group of friends. I really, really suggest you give it a go. Write about whatever you want. For May, I am going to push on. I did reach my goal of writing more than 12,000 words in April, and now in May, I want to focus on actually structuring what I wrote a little bit and to see what kind of themes I have, group things together, maybe look at what kind of non-fiction genre I want to go in. And I think the time may be right to actually attempt some fiction writing. I'm thinking romance. I don't know anyone who is secretly, not so secretly, as cheesy as I am. So romance writing might be the next thing. Don't hold me to it, or maybe hold me to it, because I do like the pressure. Uh, try your hand at a little bit of writing, and maybe some of my tips help. Let me know if you have more, because I am still learning and still finding out more. Bye guys, see you very soon.